Absolutely no complaints on the weather front. It's an ideal day for football here in Dortmund at the Signal Iduna Park. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It is Borussia Dortmund up against Hertha Berlin. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And introducing the Borussia Dortmund side, Mats Hummel starts alongside Manuel Akanji in central defence. Julian Brandt plays with Torgan Azar out wide. And the lone striker today is Erling Haaland. A look at the Hertha starting lineup. Luca Toussaint plays with Santiago Ascasibar in the centre of midfield. And up front, it's Davy Zelkin. And so the battle commences. <laughs> Dahoud. Now Holland. Brandt. And space to cross it. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Well, if you're the opposing defender, you've really got to keep a weather eye on Erling Haaland. What are you expecting to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. And Bellingham... Just wide of the mark. Goal kick. Well, that never looked like troubling the keeper, did it? But it was worth an effort. A good strike from him. <laughs> Toussaint. Now Boateng. Boateng just missing narrowly on the volley. Well, it's a fantastic effort. Difficult technique, but he caught it so well. He's unfortunate. Bellingham passing it around looking for the goal that would put them ahead Guerrero very alert defending to cut off the supply Santiago Ascasibar and Pekarik in possession and they need to get tighter but really sticking to the task defensively. Holland on the ball, Torgan Azar. Rice. Dahoud. An encouraging move from Dortmund. Azar. It needs an accurate cross. 
Good use of advantage for Dortmund. Every pass hitting its target. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. And this is Royce. And able to get a body in the way. Kevin Prince Boateng. Richter. Toussaint. Happy to take on the shot, but into the keeper's gloves. Minier. The ball with Marco Royce. Jorgen Azar. Holland. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Now, sending it in. Well, it has come to nothing. And space for the cross. And the penalty is given. The referee right on the spot. And now a chance for them to take the lead here. Well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. It should be a yellow card for me. This to make it 1-0. Oh, not what he had in mind, Stuart. Well, usually height beats a keeper, but he's put too much on that. Suat Serdar. Marvin Plattenhardt. Crossing opportunity. Fed over towards the back post. Well, it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper. Well, as you can see, Dortmund have had most of the ball. But in terms of creating chances, they've been well below their normal standards. Unless that changes quickly, it's going to be a really frustrating day for them. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. And still an opportunity. Well, that's the end of that for now. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. Well, an honest assessment, Stuart, would be that he hasn't really been on top of his game and attack. Yeah, their passing hasn't been great but he just hasn't done enough to receive the ball in dangerous areas. He needs to be doing more in and around that penalty box. And so the battle commences. And Bellingham. missing narrowly on the volley well it's a fantastic effort difficult technique but he caught it so well he's on Holland can they forge ahead well they would have done had it not been for the keeper well they should be ahead now yes it was a good save Derek but he sh Not what he had in mind, Stuart. Well, usually height beats a keeper, but he's put too much on that. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Dahoud. Now Holland. Brandt. Marco Royce! Brilliant.
carefully blocked. An alert piece of defending. Well, the fans are certainly having their say. Just listen to them. They thought that was a penalty. We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff? Yeah, he's not putting his full weight on that foot at the moment because he actually got trodden on in the last challenge. Keep an eye on this one. Cheers, Jeff. A gift for any goalkeeper. Peter Pekarik. Manuel Akanji. Jude Bellingham. Torgan Azar. On to Holland. Smuggled away. And he read it well. This attack looks highly promising. Marvin Plattenhardt. Santiago Ascasiba. Wasteful again in possession. And a good looking ball. Offside the decision. And Dortmund will go to the bench. Marco Reis. Holland. And on to Bellingham. What a vital intervention. Peter Pekarik. Ben Fodil. Richter. And offside by the merest of margins. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. It's a good Dortmund move in the making. And the referee says corner kick. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Substitution it is for Dortmund. Who can they pick out? Well, tremendous block. A struggle to get it away properly. Holland. He might be able to carve something out. And the opportunity goes a begging. He decided to hit that with power rather than going for placement. Just 10 minutes to go. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? Good work to regain possession. It's come down to the final five minutes, and still they're deadlocked at nil-nil. Ball's gone.
Comes to attack from the wide areas. It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. Crossing opportunity. And he dealt with that ball played in rather well. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Torgan Azar. Royce. Meunier. Brandt. It was a menacing attack, but tidied up. And the referee blows the whistle. Still all square at the end of 90 minutes.